Separation confirmed. When you hit the atmosphere, uh, I noticed that this plasma, this orangish glowing gas around the outside of the vehicle was forming. I looked out my window and initially it was a pale orange and then it became a dark red. Then I actually started to see molten uh, slag from the heat shield passing by the window. And then I remember feeling the, the pull of, of the g-forces on my body. Because we're hitting the atmosphere and decelerating at such a tremendous rate, there was four G's of force that were pushing me into my chair. It's like four people were sitting on top of me and it got difficult to breathe. I'd have to really think and work at getting the air into my lungs. And then the parachute is deployed. And wow, was that dynamic, was that crazy. It felt like the vehicle was swinging back and forth like a pendulum underneath uh, the chute. Yeah, you can see the parachute coming down and the plume coming up. It's, you hit the ground with a thump. Uh, we're not, we weren't injured, but it's like a small car crash. That's Bob Thirsk from the Canadian Space Agency, the flight engineer, wrapping up uh, his six months in space. After we landed, um, I had some pride and I wanted to be able to get myself out of my Soyuz seat myself and egress the, the vehicle, but I just didn't have the strength. I felt like a, a wet dish rag, uh, unable to do very much. Uh, in addition to that, my, um, my blood pressure to my brain was rather low. My heart just wasn't contracting enough to, to uh, provide blood flow uh, up to the brain, so I felt a little bit woozy, and then I also felt very um, unbalanced as well. I guess I felt normal uh, after six weeks back on Earth.